Welcome, listeners and viewers, to another episode of the Popcorn Watchlist Podcast. Once again, this is your host, Xavier, and joined by my illustrious crew, Danny. How's it going? Anthony. Hello. And Zach. What's up, guys? And so today we have a special episode. We're going to forego some of what we recently watched and some of our news and go right into our main topic because this topic um, <laughs> is pretty fun. Uh, we can... You know, just full disclaimer and full disclosure, we want to revisit this topic later on as more and more movies come out, as well as um, kind of revisit other uh, movies that fall into this uh, topic. And it's going to be trilogies, specifically movie trilogies. Uh, I know we're all, the four of us are excited to talk about these. And so what we did to kind of start the ball rolling, and we'll get back to these, you know, in future episodes, is talk about our favorite trilogies. Um, and kind of go, you know, kind of plead our case and just talk about like why we picked it uh, initially. We have so many to pick from, but, you know, we can pick our standouts from the beginning and kind of see exactly why we, we like them, what kind of impact it made on us as viewers and movie watchers, and, um, you know, why you would go out of your way to recommend it to other people. Uh, so I'm going to uh, mix it up a bit and start with Anthony. Ooh. Oh. Are we doing one each or do we have honorable let's, mentions? Let's do one each and then, you know, honorable mentions we can have because then you know, so we'll, we'll so plant many. the seeds for the for future. The future. Exactly. Cool. We got oh. a roadmap. Kind of like how we did our, like, our sequel talk. Or, or back to the future. Uh, back we're to now the into uh, trilogies. Yeah, one, not one trilogy to rule them all. Right. <laughs> Spoiler. So it's very hard. It's very hard to take. There's so many trilogies, but... For now, I think, uh, and it's weird because it's no longer a trilogy, so I'm kind of cheating here, but I'm going to pick Toy Story 1, Ooh, 2, and 3. Good job. That's a solid. solid. Um, that was, was going to be one of my to backups. to me, it ended with number three, and number <laughs> four is like a very, very good treat after the ending. Somehow they made a good movie after the third one, but yeah, 1, 2, and 3 Toy Story I think is excellent. Uh somehow they made three ridiculously good movies and in quotes they're kids movies because it's animated and but they're definitely not kids movies at all they're you know it's pixar classic pixar um they make movies for everybody and all three movies i think are it's just a testament to you know where they started and how they've grown through the years i think the first one came out in 94 or 5 Mm -hmm. and part three came out 2010 part three came out 2010 and it's just like they really haven't missed a beat they've made so many movies so many quality movies that they're probably one of the best studios if not the best studios that in just like pure quality um toy story one like i think i mentioned it before you know i have two younger brothers and when it came out it was one of those movies that you know my my younger brother was very young and you know little kids they they like something and they watch it a thousand times <laughs> uh so i kind of know toy story one front and back because i just would hear it all the time i would hear just lines from the movie and it's yeah it's pretty funny but yeah toy story one is great i mean at least it was a movie that i didn't mind watching or listening knowing that my my <coughs> brother and my family was watching it again how many times so, did your family quote there's a snake in my boot yeah it's, it's just, someone's poisoned the water hole you're not a toy you can't fly to <laughs> infinity and beyond yeah oh like it's, there's there's so many lines and and then all the songs randy newman <laughs> yeah you got a friend in me you got a friend in me he's and not a raccoon we will <laughs> yeah i won't go more with that but <laughs> i mean with those movies you could see how the animation improved yeah it's it's crazy and and the first one yeah it was extremely I mean, influential it was just yeah it changed it was the first, was the first, movie, first yeah. Pixar completely movie. all nope. cg movie all, all but computer animated like that even with that it just goes to show how important just a good story is yeah yeah it's a, you, you, like when you first think about it, like toys that can talk <laughs> and that they're alive and you're like yeah this is weird but it's like no like they've done that time and time again with different animals different things like all sort of cars like they've <laughs> They've done that with so many different it's just a story like it's you make mm -hmm. a good story and it doesn't matter what 
what characters are in there. Like story is a story, and it's it's super fun, super entertaining. And this is just part one. Like I'm just talking about part one now, and then somehow they made part two, and part two is ridiculous. Like I thought part two was better than the first one. Like how did before, they make this movie better than the first before one? Before you talk about part two, because part two, yeah, he, I agree with Anthony. Like part two just took the foundation of one and took it to the next level. Mm-hmm. They added themes of just like mm-hmm. more of like belonging and finding who you really are and like you know trying to grow beyond your path there's so many awesome themes that Mm -hmm. go into it but uh we there are a lot of fun little facts in the original toy story i think one of them that stands to my that stands out in my mind is all the kids i think in andy's party are just slightly hashed models of andy of andy yeah like (laughs) all the humans which they don't show them that often is for a reason because they weren't doing humans and they didn't do them too well. So they're like, we have this general model. And it's kind of like Andy. Andy's mom is like a variation of Andy with like long hair. And, yep. and then his sister is like sort of Andy. But it makes like, sense because it's his sister. You focus on like just like some of the body parts. <laughs> not the right. yeah. generally. Like, you don't the worry whole, about like, that. because like the right. They don't show, the them, leg. They don't show many the of them. Probably the human they show the most is Sid. Um, yeah. So, yeah but oh, that. yeah. And, and the sister. And his sister, yeah. And, yep. and then, but other than that, the, you know, the... The main thing you're looking at is just like the what? glossiness and how all the toys look like and all the detail of all the toys. Pizza Planet. Pizza oh, Planet. Man. Pizza Planet. The, the so pizza cool. Planet. Dude, like... so when I saw that movie, I was like, man, I want to go to this place so bad. Like, Pizza <laughs> Planet was the coolest place. I was like, I want to play these games. Play and I want to have the uh, dragon mouse spit out the fountain drinks I'm in my <laughs> cup. <like, "Bleh." laughs> <laughs> I always loved that. It was hilarious. Dude, this movie's too good, man. It's, yeah. Um, and then you have, you know, the little aliens with the claw, like, it's like, yeah, man, you never win those games. Me. You yeah, never win those from the outside. outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's so good. And then, yeah, like now get into part two, just adding more characters and more backstory around Woody. Like, I think we even mentioned again, we mentioned this talk, in yeah. the sequel talk, maybe you brought it up or Xavier, Probably. like how great this this movie was to the first yeah, one man, like so the first one was i mean a lot of them are about woody another thing about it like the first one you can kind of think that woody's sort of a bad guy in the first one <laughs> yeah, he's, he's so, so insecure yeah he's so insecure and like full of himself and he's just like i mean who is this guy coming into my town and like taking all his thunder essentially and he he does all this stuff and it's him he's the one who starts everything he gets buzz knocked out and he realizes like oh crap that's Andy's favorite toy and I just lost him he's like now I gotta go get him back and yeah and that's the whole adventure of the movie but but yeah I mean it's a lot of these movies are like kind of like Woody's journey it's pretty pretty interesting so, yeah I mean there's a lot of characters but he's he's the main character and just uh before I get to the second one it's just like somehow they got like without getting specific voice actors but they got actors that did incredible voices and they like match perfectly with their characters like you don't you don't really see woody or buzz be anybody else but tom hanks or or uh, i almost said uh, ray allen you almost said ray allen <laughs> not woody go allen. heat but yeah i almost said ray <laughs> allen uh but yeah it's uh, funny tim allen uh tim allen oh, yeah i just oh, yeah, said woody I, allen that's weird no not woody allen. not woody allen <laughs> the woody uh, not woody buzz woody allen okay woody buzz allen. yeah right yeah it's tim allen and uh, yeah, tom hanks all, all the voices you have ernest who's slinky dog oh, rest in peace rest in peace there's so many um uh mr arlie Potato ermy Ar- also rest in peace mm-hmm. yeah arlie ermy was was uh, the, the army man the army man like oh yeah that's perfect also rest in peace like damn yeah a lot of their voice actors are and, they're no longer with us, but they're and it started off the the cameo in every movie from John Ratzenberger, right? Yeah, John Ratzenberger. He plays, every Pixar, he plays Ham, Ham in Toy Story, and he's in every single Pixar movie. He's he's some always some random character in every Pixar movie. Yeah, if you look up, like, I think there was like, I think was it Soul? He didn't do a voice, but he was a he was a care like he was a like a random passerby mm-hmm. in Seoul. Yeah, yeah that's he, the so point. He's always a little. He's cameo. always something yeah. like he's always in it. But it's always his voice. <laughs> yeah. But not in Seoul. In this case, it was just it was just he was like, like a human like in a, the movie. Like his likeliness mm. as a character. That's cool. He was the underminer in The Incredibles. Yeah. I'm the yeah. underminer. <laughs> <laughs> the underminer. Yeah, Seoul's guy on the on the elevator. Yeah, that's too good. Yeah, awesome. Man. Yeah. Them Sid, people. Sid, crazy kid, and you you kind of. 
like you might have always known kids like that when you were younger that like <laughs> destroyed their toys you're like why would you destroy your toys like, yeah i'm gonna yeah. put them on rockets so it's and like, blow them it's destroy just, everything and on the surface it's like a simple story for like the kids but like it's it's also like a deep story that like adults could get into yeah. as well so like such a really good movie and i mean yeah to infinity and beyond like everybody knows that that's such yeah. an iconic phrase and so many lines in this movie are are probably been tons of memes and it's just part of i'm gonna say it the zeitgeist <laughs> of our of spirit our, of the times of our culture yeah that so means it's I, just a extremely classic movie the the ryan tomato scores on all three of them are like i think the first almost probably, perfect. i hope they're all 90 they're, they're, they're 90 over something. 95 yeah I think all of them. the first two are 100 the, yeah. the third is 99 percent. what which yep. is crazy i agree but anyway and then the, the fourth one has like a, like a 99 or 98 because the fourth one's still good. Yeah, the, four, like, like, yeah. the fourth one, so, again, like oh. somehow they still made a really good movie <laughs> yeah. after how ridiculous the third movie is. Like, and then going into two, like, again, so animation quality is better. Uh, Storylines are better. Like, there's a whole idea of just like, you know, these these ideas of identity and uh, just have like Woody finding like a whole other like mini family he never had. And mm -hmm. it's like, wow, like this is where I originally belong. And, you know, you had Wayne Knight as the collector. Mm -hmm. Um uh, and uh, you have Jesse, Bullseye, and uh, the, 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 the prospector. Roundup, the whole prospector. roundup game. Yeah. Woody's roundup. <laughs> well, yeah, we got we really got like the whole Woody's roundup show. And again, there's the, great Woody backstory. He's like, awesome. this cowboy in the wild, 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 wild west. Woody's uh, roundup. Makes me want to like go to. I've seen these movies way too many yeah, times. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like barbershop esque quartet like yeah yeah because it's like a fifties sixties cartoon. Yeah, it's just was just really good in there. Like all the. The toys were like puppets, like in the in the TV yeah. show. Yeah, so it was pretty. It was pretty funny. That's so that's why you like now you realize like oh that's why Woody like looks like that because he was like used kind of like a, like a marionette. Yeah. Ah, so and like yeah, like two is just so good. And then like you see like it's always like the, the like the unexpected characters are the villains in like in the sequels, right? Like mm -hmm. two and three. So like one was obviously Sid because you know it's yeah. like that kid's just a. a Real piece of work. We toys can see every day. I love that part of his head turns. <laughs> so play nice. Play nice. He's like, ah! <laughs> and then, uh, so like, shout outs to Eric Von Denton from Brink, Brink. the best Disney Channel original movie. Yep. And, uh, Voice so, of Sid. Voice of Sid in part one and, and part three. Three, he comes back. We were in the theater in Orlando and we went through the end credits and, like, he, we saw adult Sid and Anthony's like, dude, it'd be nuts if that was him. And then he sees it in the credits, Eric Von Dutton. He just like, freaks I was out. Like, dude, this guy has like one line <laughs> he's like, and it's Whoa! him. I was like, <laughs> he's like, like well, ridiculous. Yeah, he puts Lotso the bear, like, on, on his, like, garbage truck. He's like, yo, that was I so I think the whole scene is like, he's like a garbage worker and he's like rocking out to some music while he's like taking out the garbage and he had the skull shirt on yeah. and everything and it's and he's like yep. oh it's him it's like oh he's like hey put this guy right here hang out uh yeah and then part two had you know the prospectors like no we're going to japan like we're gonna go to this museum and we're gonna like it was really cool seeing that like you know the the villains could be the toys because there's all these different pers that other perspective of what people want and the conflict there and uh that was really freaking cool and freaky too like he was like you know, using the pickaxe to do stuff, and then that's where you got Bullseye and Jesse to come back with um, with uh, Woody and Buzz. And uh, is that the one where we got Spanish Buzz? No, no that's part three. three. That's part three. Yeah, yeah, part three. We also got Ken and Barbie. Part two part has three. the awesome intro to the movie of it's like Buzz infiltrating like Emperor Zerg's hideout or something oh, like that. That's right. And then like it's after like this cool action scene, and then it shows that it's just like Rex playing a Buzz Lightyear game. Rex and Ham playing the game. That that opening <laughs> that sequence, awesome, man. that opening sequence used to kind of freak me out a little Zerg? bit because it was it was kind of creepy. Like okay, as a kid, like it was a little bit mm -hmm. creepy and weird. Um, and then there's a very similar, you know, with the the part later on where. Where Woody's having a nightmare, it's like I don't. Where Andy's like, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> yeah. when he drops it, and then and it's then, like, like he goes all the way to the bottom of the box. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that that also kind of yeah. creeped me out as a kid too. But but yeah, like both that intro and stuff. Like, it was... did you guys ever Is watch that stuff? Wheezy? Was that Wheezy in part two or part three? Yeah, Wheezy's, Wheezy's in, part two. Yeah. Part two. Okay. Yeah. He, yeah. He doesn't have the the squeaker or the squeaker yeah. doesn't. Yeah, because that part two is work. the one where they're doing like the garage sale. The right? Garage sale. Yeah. Yeah. And so Wheezy gets put into the box to sell and and then woody tries to save him and then woody gets stuck in the box and then 
Wayne Knight's like, what's Wayne in the Knight's box? Like, what's in the oh, no, yeah. That's the wrong and movie, but uh, <laughs> that's, he gets that's a, seven. No, yeah, yeah. He, uh, uh, and then and then Wayne Knight sees Woody. He's like, oh, and he's like the only one that knows how valuable Woody is. So he's like, I'll pay whatever for for this. Yeah, and then even like Jesse had the whole thing. He's like, no, I want to belong with you guys because her old owner like gave her up. Right. Like that was deep. Like that hit me. I was, was like, that Sarah McLaughlin? Yeah. Sarah McLaughlin. That's, yeah. that's, that's it. Was almost gr- like I was watching, song. you know the. Uh, you know, the the sad dog Ascap commercials. Aspa, Aspa, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. a PCA. great song. It was. It's really <laughs> sad. Yeah, man. It's that moment. So you get you start getting character development of other characters, like the new characters. Um, yeah, it's emotional. Too. Yeah, so that that just continued Pixar streak of like we could just make really good movies for everybody. That just happened to Have be animated. Great stories, yeah, and they're and they're animated, and then it's like relatable stories, no matter what, even though it's toys. Yeah, it's like, but yeah, it's like abandonment issues. Yeah, then we get to part three, where there's just this, this whole existential thing, and just like, <laughs> you know, accepting mortality, and then just oh, like yeah, and also like it learning to let deep. it go and move on. And, well, yeah, part, th- Andy's part like three is like up. Andy's going to college, right? That's yeah. the whole thing, and yeah, then Andy's he's packing up all his stuff and all his toys from all the other movies are in like the the what is it like toys to keep in the attic or something like that or yeah or, or to, like give a, away. to give away yeah. yeah he's just like oh my god like what's going on guys like we're, we're getting given away like and they, you know we're going to this the they end up like okay moving on going to the um <laughs> the, like then there's like a toy hierarchy in the the daycare center and like the preschool <laughs> whatever it's like you get to hang out with the cool kids i want to go over there it's like no you get to hang out with the toddlers and they're just like <laughs> biting everything and it's, like, and it's just, like a horror movie setting yeah. where like uh, it's a they, horror when, movie in jail at the same time where they all like, like come out and then just like destroy all the toys for like yeah, a couple yeah, minutes it, <laughs> and it's just like they're doing time and lots of like the warden and everything and uh that's the one that had the creepy uh monkey like the the, the Ooh, symbol yeah, monkey yes. yeah. <laughs> so that freaked me out all the time but part three also had a great intro sequence it was the whole like uh like wild they, wild west with yeah. like a uh, ham being like a like a bad sheriff or something like that <laughs> yeah like, he like, was like, like, like the bad band-aid. mayor or yeah, something yeah. and it's like this really cool scene and then it, it, it gets out of the scene at the end and then it's just like it's a home video it's a home yeah. video of of and <laughs> of it's andy but it's andy playing with his toys and doing yeah. like this elaborate set of set before that, you know we which, all we all did like I as did it's it. like going away when thing I, you're like that's so cool but man that hits you right in the feels yeah like these movies for at least for us and probably people a little bit younger than us definitely like our generation it was just like so we saw the first one when we were probably like what was it I was it in, came out 95 i wasn't even 95 yeah, you, were, you were really young but i'm saying like for us no, and maybe I, even no, i wasn't a wet dream uh, i wasn't even born i was yeah, born in 95 so oh so not you so us and maybe like a couple years younger than us too so it's like we grew up with these movies so by the time 2010 hits and it's about andy going to college and we're like in I'm like, college i'm like two or three years into college so i'm like like it's like kind of like going growing like with people who started watching it from the beginning yeah, we're yeah. Just like, oh that's why God, i like it, it yeah. like with the emotion that comes with that movie it like hits you extra hard if you were like in that age range because you started watching it from 1995 right so, yeah it was like so that's why part three for me i'm like this movie is like absolutely ridiculous with like <laughs> I definitely cried like hard, like multiple points in this movie. Oh this is man. Crazy, man, yeah. It and and not only that, like it was also really cool. Just like when um, uh, Woody ends up going with the what I forget her was it Molly? Is that the girl's name? Molly, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she, um, he ends up hanging out with those toys, and then you have a whole other like misfit. Like you have the Triceratops, Trixie. Uh, you have Trixie, mm-hmm. and then you have uh, a, a the porcupine guy who's voiced by um, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, no, not Pierce Brosnan. Who is he Another playing? Bond. Oh, and, uh, Timothy Dalton. Timothy right? Dalton, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, Hafaz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's a slasher and he must be stopped. Yeah, but he's just like the thespian a of the prices. Group. Oh, prices. <laughs> like, he's just the thespian and you're like, man, like, and like, that's why I loved the fact that like, they, they kept building on these fun and engaging side characters that just adds to everything. Like, they're always fun. They're, they have their own personalities. They're quirky. Um, and then at the same time, Toy Story 3 is making you, like, really uh, question your life and see, like, Belife. all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <Belife>. Yes. <laughs> it's nuts, dude. Like, I rem- we Castles watched- in the Sky, listen to the lyrics. <laughs> the 90s dance song. It's, it's incredible that uh, Ian Van Dahl... And I forgot her name. For dreams. <laughs> for dreams. But going back to the dreams, um, you know, like that whole last thing, that sequence in the furnace, you're just like, oh man, they're holding hands and just accepting, like, we love you guys. Like, 
oh, like this is rough. And then they get out of it, but everyone in that theater just is so emotional. Like, is this wrecked. really gonna yeah. happen? Like, and before before we even get to that, <laughs> like, like the enemy, kind of like the the bad guy, like the Lotso? prospector, or, the second one, oh, yeah. and then lots on the third one. Like, yeah, they're the bad guys, the bad toys, but like, kind of like a lot of good villains in movies. Like, you understand exactly like mm -hmm. why they are the way they are. It's like that's like in in their eyes they're they're not wrong as, and you you sympathize with their their stories or how they were treated in this case as as toys to a certain extent sid also because sid you can tell is kind of like a sort of loner and so dude he, and his, i don't know like home, his house is his house ridiculous. is all jacked up <laughs> where are the parents and so it's just like yeah the right. kids kind of like <laughs> neglected like, creepy. you kind yeah. of understand why he does this because like who's teaching him stuff yeah he just like gets toys he's like let me make do experiments with my toys and put legs oh on God, toys on heads the or toys, the, the baby head on the oh, oh man, that was creepy Mama. that was Mama. Creepy. and that he was... has like a uh, like a fish hook oh, i don't know man that was those even toys creepy. were that was even creepy uh, in the a video leg game. with like yeah do you remember the it video was like a game? leg with a fish hook on it <laughs> yeah. i was like what is this? it was like I lady think... legs with with a, with a, <laughs> a, a fishing rod that's like, one of those things where like i'm pretty sure the like, fishing rod with the legs is supposed to be like a hooker oh it makes sense see See, Damn. for the kids, it's just creepy. And then for the adults, <laughs> you think about it like, oh, I this get it. This guy's really messed I up get now. It. Yeah. Um, but Most yeah, man. Mind blowing. Dude. Like, that's those toys are like the ones that you would see like in like those scary movies or TV shows that like they go into like a cabin or like in the woods and you just see like baby dolls, like doll, yeah. doll, like, uh, doll island or that, whatever. What's that movie? The, the Boy? I don't know. Boy. I never. I don't watch those The Boy movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, it has anything to do with a, a doll doll's heads looking at you well okay, there Annabelle, is a, it's Annabelle Annabelle I mean, it's a puppet but okay so it has uh the uh the, boy. <laughs> the actress from the walking dead i'm already i'm forgetting her name lauren cohen yes so she's oh i remember movie. that yeah i remember oh, that movie, the the movie the boy? I, no, I, saw, I remember a, the trailer of the movie and i was like i'm not watching that because is this the one where it's bad. called it's called like the boy but it has like a subtitle or something like that I'm, like bron I'm, like bronze the boy or something like that or Brahms, I don't know how to spell Brahms, it. Yeah. Brahms, yeah. Is that it? Brahms, 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 like, what? Brahms, yeah, I don't know Brahms how to pronounce it. Yeah, where Just by the title, it's like, I'm not watching. This is dumb. <laughs> or it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a puppet or the like boy. a like a, like a a ventriloquist dummy, uh -huh. but it's controlled. By spirits. Well, it's not a spirit. Like the boy uh, the that boy supposedly it. died, it was actually living inside the walls of the mm. house. And wow. he was like, and he takes, like doing and moving, he like, moving the, the doll, uh -huh. like, like moving the doll around and stuff. Like, no, he, like, he's an actual person. He's just yeah, been living in the walls for like in, ten years. And his yeah, name is the, Sid, right? No, Sid, but kind of like that, where it's like like the head's like moving. He's like the eyes are like. What's really weird about that movie is it's an American nanny that she goes to live in an English house, but the American nanny is played by, by Lauren English Cohen. Actress. Lauren Cohen, who is a English, yeah. It's... Wait, do those movies have? Is that a trilogy? Because we could just talk about that. No, <laughs> for, that would be my honorable no, mention. No, I think uh, I Bra think Brahmins, only... Brahms the boy. I think there's only three. like a, a second one. <laughs> There's two? Uh, there's only two. There's a sequel. They made a sequel. Made a sequel. What's it called? The Boys? Rom's the Boy 2. <laughs> the Boys. And it came out in 2020. Oh my goodness. Damn, that's it. Uh, two years ago. Yeah. All right, let's get off of... Yeah, let's get off of... Uh, Brahmin Bra 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 Toyota or whatever his name is. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so... Toy Story, good, man. The bad good guys good. of Toy Story, really good. Lots of awesome villain. Um, And the way he goes out, he doesn't really go out, but it's just like... Karma is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, by the end of the movie, it's kind of like uh probably other trilogies that trilogies that will be on this list that have like it has kind of has like multiple endings. And so like in each of those endings, I think I I like kept crying. I'm like, oh no, oh no, and then it just, it just kept going. I'm like, what is happening? The Especially whole, the third one, the man. thing, the thing with the furnace. You're just like, are they really gonna do this? Like you're you're thinking like, dude, this is happening. Like they're and all you're just like, gonna it's burn. not gonna happen, but no, this is. And really then you think, you, then you remember, like, wait a minute, it's sort of Disney, and Disney it's does this stuff all the time. Yeah. yeah, like like Bambi's mom gets shot in the beginning of the movie. So <laughs> spoilers, Mufasa, um, you know. Yeah, so, Nemo's mom. Yeah, yeah dude. It's like so, it, it wouldn't. I wouldn't have put it past them. Like, dude, they're gonna do this. Up. This is this they, is the end of the movie. I up the greatest first ten minutes of all time. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we, we're ready. Like Pixar was conditioning yeah. us. So for I was an ready. Emotional so wreck, like I was like pre crying. I was pre crying during the furnace scene. I'm like, oh my god. And then it didn't happen. And then like the end of the movie is like Andy moving out, and then realizing like, oh wait, these toys are still here. And then it's like the whole reminiscing of like how all these toys meant so much to him. And then so that's like. 
uh, cry moment number four in the movie <laughs> or whatever. And then number and five. Then, and then, like, the realization of, like, all right, he's got to go to college and he has to move on. And then he takes it to this girl's house and gives his toys to the girl. You're like, what is going on? Well, no, no, You're like, no. He doesn't even give, just give the toys away. He, like, like unboxes he, it he unboxes and starts playing and with them. He plays with her with like, the toys. Oh, I'm like, oh, man. Just, just like he did oh. in the, like, older movies. Like, it was, oh, man. Yeah, like, it was, it's really something, So, man. to me, yeah, I kind of cheated. I picked That's these movies pick. because... I don't know how they did it, but one, two, and three, it, to me, they're probably, there's plenty of great trilogies, but to me, it's probably one of the best trilogies like ever made. Yeah. And it's a freaking kids movie in quotes. And then the same in thing quotes. with, with like with Sid, the act, the voice actor that played Andy from the yeah, first it's the two same. It's the same. came back to voice this yeah. one. So mm -hmm. it's even awesome. Like even full circle, full, full circle moment circle. for, for both kids, one with a bright future and one that's a garbage man. <laughs> so. Hey, but you know, but he ended up kind of like saving everybody, right? Yeah. And he ended up sort of like Sa still respecting the toys, yeah. yeah, and not respecting, you know, you know, he's not like being awful to the toys at least. He just, but Lotso got what he deserved. Put that it? boy in the freaking grill. And just like, just like with town. the second one, the third one, like the animation was amazing. Better, like like you could tell, you like, better. dude, what is happening? Way, way like better. all this the sheen crazy, from man. Barbie and Ken, even just like, the, and like how they're still oh, like man. moving. We didn't even talk about that. All the like ancillary characters that were part of the. Part of the nursery that they end up yeah. going to for like half the movie. Ken is hilarious. Ken is <laughs> Ken, Ken is, is uh, Michael Keaton. Michael, yeah, Michael Keaton, dude. Yeah. Like, part three is easily the funniest one of all of them, dude. I was laughing like crazy throughout this whole movie, dude. And the monkey, so, like, dude. I I mentioned him before, but the monkey, the symbol monkey, is freaking hilarious. Freaking and then and then monkey. Spanish buzz, like that that <laughs> joke was did not get run through the ground. Like it I was thought hilarious. it was gonna be stupid, but no, like, no, it was, it was hilarious. hilarious. So it's like. You have like the best trilogy, and like on top of that, the third movie is extremely sad, but like in a good way. And it's, it's also it's yeah. super emotional and it's hilarious. And it's to me a no brainer as to why it was, I think, the second or only third animated movie to be nominated for Best Picture. Yep. And it completely deserves it. That movie is amazing. Yep. Yeah. Part three is uh, to me the best one of all three. Close the trilogy on a high note. For so sure. when you tell me that it has like a ninety nine and part one is like a ninety five uh, or I whatever, think, I think it's ninety eight. I looked it up just now. It's ninety eight, but the other two are one hundred. I think it's one and two so, is one hundred. No, so are three is lower than one and two. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. No, I have to. They're, they're, <laughs> it's because people were too traumatized at how good it was. No, dude. That, that's what it is. Number three, like they went through. Really like, three, I would, I think I would, is obviously the best all one. three of them. I would put it like like. Like it's 95, much. 97, and then like 100. Like, <laughs> three is like they're all the they're one. all really good. Yeah, it's just like, like they just really kept getting the better. One. I watched the second, I'm like, oh, how is this one better than the first one? The yeah. first one's <laughs> iconic. You watch the third one, you're like, what? I don't even know what to say. Like, the third <laughs> one, I was like, how do you make a movie like this? No, to me, that might be, aside from like, oh, and maybe Wally, that might be like one of Pixar's best movies. And that's saying a lot because they've made yeah. so many exceptional movies. So, yep. That's but my just, pick. Just, just look at IGN's ranking. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. seven. Go too much longer. So, yeah, but yeah, that's my pick. Ranking. That's my first pick before we do honorable mentions. So, Toy Story one, two, and three. Four is a very good movie. I also I was very surprised at how good it was. I don't think it's as good as three, but it's still very good. And they came up with a really good story. So I would still Duke recommend. Kaboom. Yeah, dude. Duke Kaboom is so. Keanu oh. Reeves as Duke Kaboom, so good. So, it was great. Oh, so shot. yeah, one, two, and three. A what? very high honorable mention of part four, but I consider it a trilogy with like part four, like the dessert. Like, I don't know why I turned it into a food analogy when it wasn't. That's uh, for Ratatouille. But. Ratatouille. <laughs> Rakakuni. All right. So, Xavier, what's, so what's next? your. Uh, uh, is it Xavier trilogy? or are we no, doing I'm left, go, of the ooh, left of the deal? Left of the Uno rules. Go Uno I'm going straight to Zach. I know which one he's going to pick. Unless but... you have a skip card. I mean, you could just throw it down. <laughs> Can I use an Uno skip card? You or could do a reverse. Do a reverse, reverse and, and, and then I'll just do again. honorable mention. <laughs> and no, then go, I'll, go, go. You can do reverse and I put uh, draw four I, on I kind of want to hear what you other guys have. Well, mine's one Before. you haven't seen, so I want, I want you to go first. Damn. Okay. So it must be something from like the 30s, you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> the 80s, probably. Okay. So, oh man, for me, I, I, I feel like I've, I've, I've picked a pretty. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between like three of them, <laughs> but. It depends same, on, like, same. I had, yeah, I had tough, a, I had a few. Continue this yeah. later on. I had a so few in my yeah, pocket. So but you I, can use one now, and then the others you're gonna bring up later. Like, like of the three, there's one that I could really talk about a lot because they're just great films. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about it because we I've talked about it a lot, 
a lot before. <laughs> okay. On here, something about okay. dragons. I think I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Some, something about you know jewelry. I think right. Yeah, jewelry. Well, you could still talk about it. One piece of jewelry that maybe, is maybe uh, add a little better bit, than the others. A little right? bit more. Maybe. Add a little bit more than yeah. what you said last time you talked about it. Because, because uh, I mean, I, I, I feel like the other two I might just put as honorable mentions. Certain, but man, certainly Matt. We could use honorable mentions because, for yeah. the start next with episode. your honorable mentions and then hit the no 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 no. You have to go with the one. Just go with the one. To rule them all. Five. We'll hit four, all three, but just say three. one. <laughs> okay, okay. Two okay, ones. Okay. Just do it. You okay. already know. You know what? Yeah, I'm sure you all know. You guys know. I'm sure yeah. our listeners know how to train your dragon. That, that's, there you that's, go. That's, there it is. That's, Damn. That's there it is. Two CG fests right now. There he is. CG fest. Now, if, if, if we're going to like, okay, the... one live action and one anime, I have my <laughs> live action, but I think I'm going to stick. Yeah, so I overall. thought he was going to pick the live action trilogy to rule them all. I thought I was well, too. I, I wasn't actually going to go with that <laughs> really? as my, as my uh, as either my I live action. Probably going with that. That's my that's 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 in my back pocket. Mine too. That's fine. Mine but go ahead. So, how to train your dragon? Yeah. So how to train your dragon? We've talked about it already, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just we still got to see the third one though. Yeah, please. I, I, then Yeah, because I I don't want to talk about the third one and then Danny gets spoiled. Just but say it's the, good. Just say yeah. how good it is. All right. I mean, so one and two are. Do you love colors? Because part three is <laughs> oh crap ton of. Just, <laughs> oh yeah, it's this whole like so like, like fluorescent scene. Ooh. And it, uh, seeing that in the theater was really something too. Like that. Oh, was Oh yeah, yeah. So I saw it in the theaters and it was it looked really cool. A very, very vibrant, uh, just... vibrant, vibrant, <laughs> vibrant, vibrant, <laughs> very, very, Bright very vibrant. vibrant. The double V, the back to back V, that's what it was. The very vibrant, uh, flying scene. V. So, so yeah, so <laughs> starting for the first movie, um, so this was a series that I didn't watch until way later on, maybe like, like even though the first movie came out 2010, I didn't watch it until maybe 2013, mm. right before the second movie came out. And I had seen it here and there, like on, um, on i think effect uh, on fx because fx has, has movies. the movies there you go <laughs> fx has the movies yeah. and now when you watch something on on tv where there are commercial breaks it's kind of hard to 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 get a feel for the movie and, and know if you or, or know if it's like good or not if you've never seen it before um and i do have a, another uh movie that's also a trilogy it's also one of my honorable mentions that i i watched because of fx uh, again, because you know it's a TV edit, it's kind of hard to like you know get into it when it's like that. But when I finally watched How to Train Your Dragon, uh, in full, no interruptions, like theatrical version, no cuts, no anything, I'm like, man, you know what? This is for for a DreamWorks movie that typically, I mean, DreamWorks typically doesn't have good movies here and there. Like they've had some great movies, but they're not like bangers like Pixar, right? You don't like Minions? No, I'm kidding. That's <laughs> Illumination. Which was which first started from you know um, never mind. So you, <laughs> I mean it's Illumination, but it originally started still with DreamWorks because of um, these other movies, which I think is also a trilogy. Despicable Me. Despicable Me is actually a trilogy. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. you have a uh, one, two, three, and then like and then minions, you have minions, minions, the rise of rise Gru. of Gru. Did that come out yet? No, soon. It's what? Yeah, it's it's still. <laughs> I thought it came out I already. Sworn it came oh out. my lord! Sandra, no, Bull uh, out Sandra Bullock was uh, the bad guy in Minions, That's which a... was actually fun. Okay. Uh, it's all sixties modded mod style, but yeah, fun. I did, I just remembered that uh, Despicable Me is a trilogy. That's why they delayed Mario because they delayed the Rise of Gru. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, I, that's that's an awesome pick. Like, I'm I'm really. So, w cool. which one's your yeah. favorite? Out of yeah, the, out of the three, well, which is your well, favorite? I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, talk a little bit more, you know, through these movies and like like you know how I've grown to appreciate and and admire these movies so much. So, of course, yeah, so man. yeah, so like with the first movie, yeah, like, you know, being able to watch it then uh, in its in its entirety or in its full glory, un uninterrupted, unedited. Uh, I'm like, man, th these are really great movies. Uh, you know, aside from uh, other great DreamWorks movies like the first couple of Shrek movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, not so much you know, third and fourth, uh, Kung Fu Panda, which are also gr mm -hmm. is is also a great trilogy. Uh, animation and the comedy is fantastic. Dude, we forgot about that one, Danny. Like Despicable Me, and but also Kung Fu Panda. I mean, you mentioned it, but yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. You guys mentioned, it, but the, I forgot the, about yeah. Despicable Me. Um, damn, yeah, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> but my I, time I think, has come. Uh, but uh, How to Train Your Dragon is definitely DreamWorks' best film, the crown jewel ever. Yeah. Like they 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 really went all out with with making. I mean, they're not historically accurate 
uh, portray or, or portrayals of Vikings. It's but fantasy. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's still a great uh, series of films with a lot of great voice actors and uh, the animation. I mean, the animation, just like with Toy Story, it fantastic. It, it started animation. off like like pretty good, and then it just got significantly better with the second one. I've mentioned it before where. The, the lighting and the shading is so much better than the, the first water one. The water the water, the, I mean, the water was great. was, I think, the best part of the first movie, like, animation-wise. Um, as well as, like, you know, like how the dragons were animated, toothless. Um, but loads better the the second time. Like, the water was just... It, it was like they took, like I, like I mentioned before, the footage of water and just put it in the movie. <laughs> what, when did the third Surprise. one come out? The third Do one was know? 2019. 2019. Okay. So, so when, when did Toy Story 4 come out? 2019 <laughs> okay so maybe they made the fourth one to like compete with these movies because i think because you said the first one came out 2010 so probably like right after toy story 3 so they're probably like yeah man these movies look fantastic and, they're, gotta, and they're probably like we got they're really showcase. good too we gotta we gotta show our water and then you look at toy yeah. story 4 you're like what the balls you're like what <laughs> is this so i mean i'm sure the water in how to train your is still better but yeah. When they show like the water and the cat in Toy Story Four, I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm watching. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, they, like they, this they, is nuts. That cat looks real. That water <laughs> looks real. I don't. Yeah, know, like that crazy. whole like the the whole like gift shop thing. Like yeah, that that was nuts. in Toy Story Four, but so yeah, yeah. How to Train Your Dragon <laughs> they, just was the is one of the poster with child. <laughs> yeah, like, it's one of those. It's the poster child of of that. And besides Toy Story, is like the poster child of here's how we just innovate technologically, but still yeah. keep telling better stories. Like. I, I I agree that like out of all the the Pixar like trilogies that they've made, that's got to be their best ones. Like, cause I mean I liked Despicable Me for the the, the whole idea of, like hey let's adopt these three girls and like it, it's got a nice heartwarming story. Um, it's just the minions are a bit much. <laughs> Whereas every comedic beat in How to Train Your Dragon is, is fun. It's a little goofy, but it's not like so a, a ridiculous. A lot of a lot of sarcasm from from Jay Baruchel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and, and uh, well, it with you know his character hiccup and stuff, but yeah. but the way he delivers that sarcasm is is really good too. But the Craig friendly Ferguson, banter, right? Craig, Ver Ferguson's yeah, Craig Ferguson's in it. Yeah, Craig uh, Ferguson, Gerard, Gerard Butler. Butler. But the the banter between but him and Jonah, his friends, Jonah Hill, Jonah Hill, um, T.J. Miller, T.J. Miller, America and America Ferrera, Ferrera, like they're all they're fun. Chris and Wig, like they're just so much fun like around everybody they all have their again it's just it's and great. emotional too like, too these are just good number two good comedic, good comedic actors that are doing voices for like a good movie and like yeah, they yeah. all fit and they're they're putting all of it into it like they're all they're all having fun with, with yeah. those voices too the score oh this yeah the score <laughs> is the one like the thing i rave about the most because I, I have a playlist of just some of the music from there and it's it's nice. hype it's really hype it's, like especially in the second one yeah the second one uh the the part, okay. I mean, since you've already seen it, yeah, yeah. the the where Stoic dies. Yeah. The <gasps> the music is called Stoic's Ship. Spiders. And it sounds. <laughs> I, I think it's by far my favorite piece in the entire trilogy, because you have um, I mean, it, it's a, it's of course a sad moment because Stoic dies, and then you have the the Viking funeral, um, and you have like the orchestra with the the choir, the bagpipes. It all sounds very celtic very uh it's it's very like sad nordic it's, uh, with the strings and the, yeah the, yeah like it, it's heavy like it, it matches the moment perfectly and john i mean john powell did a great i think it's hella underrated job. for that trilogy like he's just hella well because the the first the first movie was nominated for best original score yeah but lost to uh the facebook one uh the, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it was it was that year. Oh my god! That year, uh, the iconic Atticus year. Atticus Ross, uh, the social and network. Trent, yeah. Reznor. Trent Reznor for <laughs> tones for Doom. the social network. Uh, that I have a buddy of mine that will like fight so me on that. Music. He's like, no, that those audio to cues are perfect for the movie. I was like, yeah, but they're not good. If you wanted like, to make Facebook, then you would have made the Facebook. <laughs> that's that's the music of that movie. <laughs> and Meanwhile, anything? Inception happened. If anything, that, Meanwhile, that movie... how to train your dragon? Well, well now, uh, well, now, I guess going by off of that. So this is this is the social network, Doom, and this is Inception. <laughs> so it's like 
<laughs> more Hans tones. Zimmer. I mean, just by that noise, Hans Zimmer won. I mean, so I don't, <laughs> just better like, I don't understand. Yeah. And I'm sure How to Train Your Dragon was like Hans but Zimmer's, but Mombasa? nicer. It like, was nicer. Yeah, but so it was just like Mombasa. Either of those should have been so should have won. I would have. It should have. I would have rather any of them. I think How to Train Your Dragon should have won. That yeah, year. it should have definitely That's a, won yeah. over. I'll allow that opinion. I like that. Just not Social Network. Like just, I don't. Understand. Yeah, just not that the one. movie. Not. The movie is good, but I don't understand how the music is better than the rest in that category. Like it's just weird. I, I, I mean, I, I've never I, seen I, the Social Network, so I, I can't no? comment okay. on the music. Well, the but I mean, good. oh, the quote unquote music. It's on Netflix, but. But based off of what you guys are saying, yeah, I can only imagine that. If anything, it should have won maybe best sound. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> they were just, they were just from, from when you click the like button. Like I don't. Because <laughs> it sounds like the music was just sounds. So sounds. which one of the three is your favorite? I'll get to that. <laughs> so then the second one comes around, and uh, and yeah, the animation is uh, much better. Uh, this is where um, where now the dragons are living. Uh, harmoniously with the with the uh residents of Berg and then and then you know the 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 time jump is about five years so hiccup looks a little bit older uh, um astrid looks older um the other like uh i think his name is snotlout which is um uh, jonah hill's character and then you have uh gobber gobber is Who, Gobber Christopher Mintz Plas? Yes. Yes. Go yeah. Bear. Um, where they're you can see that they've aged. They get they've got like scruff going on. And they're all trying to win the heart of of Roughnut. I think. No, is Gobber's the, Craig Ferguson. Oh, that's right. Okay, that, that's Fish yeah. Legs. Fish is, Legs. Yeah, that's Fish Legs. Yes. Roughnut is Kristen Wiig. Okay, so yeah, so loud, yeah. So them trying to fight over the love of of, of Roughnut. Roughnut and Tough Nut. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. And then. Uh, and then uh, we we get introduced to more characters. Uh, this one character, um, Eret, played by Kit, uh, Harrington. Kit, Harrington. Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones. Uh, yep. And then you have the villain played by uh, Jimon Honsu. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Mm -hmm. he's, Honsu, yeah. he's like in every other movie nowadays. <laughs> good for him. He deserves it. The King's Man. Yeah. He was good in that. I mean, he, he's he's been. In, I think the one of the first things I ever saw him in was maybe Gladiator. Wait. No, I never saw Gladiator. I oh. Was he was yeah, Jamal Hansu was in part two, right? Yeah, we're talking about part two. Yeah. Anthony, he was in, he was Anthony's definitely, slowly like we definitely have to watch that. <laughs> like I think he was in Guardian he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was in Fast and Furious seven. Yes, he, he was seven. in one of them. He was in seven. He was uh uh the the movie you just mentioned. The um, King's Man. The King's Man, yeah. Or the King's Man, yeah. Uh, and just about Blood Diamond. fifty other movies. Oh, uh Shazam. Like the Diamonds. He yeah, was he was Shazam. Ooh. He is the, Shaz as Shazam, the wizard. <laughs> the wizard, yeah. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Kate Blanchett as the mom, as uh, Hiccup's long lost mom, who, Hello. who was presumed killed, but uh, was just taken away by another dragon. Yep. I loved all the dragons in the second one, or like you know, in, in the first one too. But in the second one, like, yeah. I feel like they. So went the, crazy like, with all the different designs of the and the, the, like, the alpha fight too the yeah. two alphas and then uh, I mean that that's another score that's just I mean <laughs> six it's like six and a half minutes of like and the thing is that when I listen to the music I I know what's going on like I can picture what's going on in the scene mm -hmm. because I can uh, um match the cues with what's going on like 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 the like the different characters themes and stuff. So I know what's like I can picture what's going on. That's pretty cool. Um, and then of course you have like when the one alpha stabs, you know, stabs the other one with its horns, and it's like the the drums going. Tr -tr 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 and I know that that's the part because then then it gets like very sinister music, and then all this other stuff. It's uh, <laughs> and then good. then stoic dies, and then, Freaking then that, and that, and that song, and then and then the the battle at the end, which the battle or the fight at the end with uh, toothless and. Uh, and the the alpha uh was pretty cool uh, maybe a tiny bit underwhelming in some parts in part two or part yeah, no in, in the second one yeah. in the second one yeah yeah i mean the the fight in, at the end of the first one was really cool the that other big dragon i don't know what that one was called but yeah i forget about that one i forgot but that one's that one was this really cool too like like you know when it crashed down explosion and then hiccup losing his leg and ugh. And yeah, the, man. Oh, the piano, yeah. the the music. I was so like, I remember the watching the first. Yeah, watching. I was like, whoa, that happened, and this like, is like they went yeah, there. like they went there, and 
it's character growth. And you're like, damn, that's so cool. And then like he uses it still to like t- to fly with Hiccup and like do a lot of the aerial maneuvers and stuff like that. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah, like, like, like he modified it, it to have like different uh, different attachments, different kinds of like. He makes it work for him. I was like, that's so cool. And it's you know it's more like yeah, it's adaptive representation. That's really cool. Because like, and that's who Hiccup is. Like like he he works with uh, like he he invents things, and that's always been like one of his character traits. So like and it, his like, fire the, sword, the, the, like the the tail wing for. For toothless, for toothless then, so you can actually yeah steer and fly yeah and then and then modify or like uh modifying like how to um train your dragon i'm kidding yeah. <laughs> <laughs> essentially yeah to how to like how to control uh toothless while flying, flying. Like, yeah like maneuver him and stuff uh and then and then now getting to the third movie uh this is like uh kind of like a Tread carefully. I I, yeah, no, no, no. Tread carefully. No, I, for I'm Danny. not saying like anything negative about it. It's more of like well, not uh, negative. It's just the spoilers. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, because Danny. So this Still is kind of like it. where I mean, you, like you know, this this is the end of the series. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. <gasps> of how it ends. Until they make. Part um, four. I mean, unless they make a fourth <laughs> yeah. one, they do a Toy Story and just make. Part yeah. Now, if, if you do a fourth, if they do a fourth one, like a maybe maybe a spinoff or maybe something that takes place more cartoon, a little bit series. in the future. Not, not doing that. But without getting into too much. Like in like into the spoiler territory, uh, we have F. Murray Abraham as the villain. Yes, Conchu. Ooh, that's Conchu is the villain. Who who's a great actor who's been in a lot of stuff like Amadeus. He's been Last in the Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> uh, he was in Star Trek. Was it Star Trek four? No, three. Four, maybe four. Christopher Lloyd was in Star Trek three. Yes, and then I think he uh, uh, Abraham was in either the fourth one or the fifth one as. Uh, some weird alien dude that like takes like his like his skin is so tight and he takes the life from like other life forms. Right? I forget what I forget what his character was. Um, was but he's been in a lot of stuff. Like, he was Conchu, of course, in in the Disney Plus Star Trek Moonlight Insurrection. Was it Insurrection? With Tom Hardy? No, definitely not. Dude, that one is Tom Hardy. When I first saw that movie, I'm like, man, is that that looks like Tom? That's Hardy. a young Tom Hardy as a, <laughs> I think that was as one a of young his clone first, Picard. That was one of his first films, I think, too. Yeah, that was a like his first, like second, third film, I, I think, and that was 2002. I believe. Oh that yeah, it is Insurrection. Yeah, Insurrection. Okay. Oh, it's, so, so Insurrection Nemesis, is the Nemesis is the one with uh. Yeah, Nemesis is, is Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Insurrection, Insurrection is where they like find that planet where everybody lives forever. Uh, but that's the that's the third movie in the next generation, right? Or the second one? Second. The first one is First Contact. No, the first. No, the first. The first one is Generation. The first oh, one sorry, is generation. Generations. Then First Contact. Then First Contact. Yeah, so you're right. Then the third Nemesis. One. I forgot about Generations. Weird because or you know, Kirk's sorry. in it. Kirk's in that, yeah, and so that, is that's where the, they, they kind of tie the which giant Nemesis. Sauron. Nemesis is the one with Tom Hardy. Where Tom Hardy is <laughs> about Romulans. For some reason, I thought Tom Hardy was in it. Romulans cloned Picard to make a young Picard, and that that's Tom yeah. Hardy. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Anyways. Yeah. And then, uh, and then other things like so. Tom Hardy is in part three. <laughs> so so basically, uh, F. Murray Abraham is uh, uh, the famous like dragon killer known for hunting a particular species. Of Dragon. of dragons to near extinction, except for two, one, two, two, couple. yeah, two, it's technically, technically two. two, yeah. That's all you need to know, Danny. That's all yeah. you need to know. And uh, <laughs> so the Burkeans have to. The you know, writers of Burke have to band together to. Well, they have to. Well, for, like they, you know, they move. They have to go in hiding, but then rough nut kind of. Oops, screws up. Oops, you know. Yeah, that's okay. So that's enough. Yeah, if you don't want to yeah. lay down the plot for him, you just got to know that stuff happens and it's a good did you like ride. It? Did you like it? Did you like three? I really liked three. I I want to say that I think part, like in order of of my favorite to my least favorite, mm-hmm. two, one, three, but they're mm-hmm. all very close. Nice. So three is your least favorite. That's fair. I felt like three was a little bit rushed. He's also it's also the you know fina- the finality of it all like it's closure like oh man like I don't want to. Well, well, I really liked the closure. It was just I felt like the movie was kind of short, therefore things were a little rushed. Like they really got into like the like the the rising action part, um, and very very soon, um, instead of like letting it build up a little bit more naturally and steadily and it just kind of they just kind of like get to it pretty quickly mm-hmm. i mean i think it's an hour and a half movie hour and 44 minutes 
Okay, so yeah. How to Train Your Dragon is an hour and 38. And then part two is an hour and 42. So it's actually the longest. It's the longest. Well, wow. It still By felt. two minutes. Well, it could just be longer credits. That also <laughs> could be the longer credits. So, I mean, I, then Not I guess wrong. even though it's the longest, it's still, I still feel like it's the the fastest developing story of the three makes sense i think which which is why i feel like it's not it's not my favorite but it's still really mm -hmm. really really good all right and i and then you know the music i i as much as i love the music in the first and second one i can't recall any of the music from the third one aside from like your typical themes like the, like the uh, recurring like, ones yeah like like the the light motifs from test drive or or hiccups theme or or the lo or the what's it called the um, romantic flight theme but i can't think of any like original song that's like or original piece it's like like wow like that, that's like how stoic ship is yeah really iconic for the second one um and then the song that he sings to um valka um like that lo that love song which is also another like memorable song from that movie it's only for that movie but i can't think of any from the third one um, I'd have to listen to that soundtrack again, or maybe watch the movie again. But, but that's my that's my top pick from favorite trilogy. Nice, nice. good pick. That's like a nice, it. unique little out of left field, but you know, very personal pick. I like that. But just wait until my honorable mention. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, those oh boy, will oh be boy. quick, but yeah, yeah we'll see. Just be listening this may or may not be because we'll, you've seen. we'll go into detail on the honorable mentions the on the next time we do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, right. we'll just we'll list just them, say out. them and then we'll be like, yeah, till next time. The future yeah. will cost more money. Next time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Xavier, you want me to go? Or yeah, you go. go. Last? Oh, you go. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I'll go last. Okay, so this one, it it is a trilogy, although it is a part of a larger story. Okay. <laughs> um, I went with the Captain America trilogy. Ooh, okay, very good. Yeah, okay. very good. Hey. Movies that just get better and better. Yep. Mm. As they come out. Mm. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Okay. I, <laughs> clearly, I said you've you, 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 uh, you hit a nerve. You've hit a nerve because uh, Winter Soldier is the best one. So, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so okay. So it starts off with the first Avenger, and oh, I love that. I I personally I, I love it. the first Avenger. The first one was great. That one's really good. Um, I'm a nerd though. Like I'm, I'm like, cheesy. Like I like the corn like the like earnest you know I mean, what, yeah you okay, cap it. yeah i just had a date I just, <laughs> yeah had a date um i Gets mean me every time we get uh skinny chris evans yeah the technical stuff of how they did that was very that was pretty cool yeah uh, rogers and then i love like every you know i can do this all day it shows that uh i don't want to take over your thunder but i one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when they're running and they're like all right whoever can get the flag is going on a going going on the ride with with Agent Carter, and then like everybody tries to climb up the flagpole like <laughs> morons, and uh, no one's able to do it, and they're just like, oh, I can't, I forget this, and then like Steve's there, the the same guy, just the just the other Rogers, get on board. He's like, hold up, and he just like un uh, uh, just unfastens un the un nut, clips, and yeah. clips yeah. the, the nut, and the just... pin yeah, the pin's gone, falls over. He's like, here's a flag, gotta go, and he just like a stone cold boss, like just like here's a flag. I'm sitting. And then Peggy's just like smiling like Yeah, Peggy's like, yo, good shit. Good shit, buddy. <laughs> or like the the grenade scene. Mm -hmm. That was that was pretty good. Okay, too. underrated actor in the first Avenger is Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, he was he was great. Yeah. Look at him. He's making me cry. Like <laughs> everything about Tommy Lee Jones in that movie's awesome. Like uh just the he's like he's too skinny. Like he's he's just like uh, like everything picking at, at at him and he keeps talking to erskine just like is it really him he's like nope there's no choice he's the one he's like all right fine ultimate test and he throws the grenade mm -hmm. person first person to jump on it steve yeah. Stan stanley tucci was re really nice too stanley tucci's it's always a great good. cast the, for the low key well, a for, really except good for, ha -ha, except but... for maybe transformers 4 but we don't talk about that <laughs> yeah it's, it's that's because it's and, transformers 4 was he in five no, I think he got killed. He was the the tech guy Spoilers. from Korra who brought back Megatron. Dude, <laughs> if he was in five, that movie is terrible. Oh my God. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins well, is in five. Yeah, so yeah. Odin is in five because they had the word knight in that movie, <laughs> of the title, and they're like, I think Anthony Hopkins is a knight, so let's get him in this movie, <laughs> Sir Anthony Hopkins. Uh, yeah, everyone in that in that cast is just is yeah. awesome. 
Uh, you know, Hugo I mean, Weaving, who, you know, was Red Skull. Uh, Red Skull. Haley Toby Atwell. Jones. Awesome. Haley, Haley Atwell. Atwell. Yeah, Toby Jones. Dobby. <laughs> yeah. Toby Jones also in uh, a couple other good other movies, too. He's, just, he's so good. Um, you know, and then that's where we had Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes. Yep. Um, you know, the, we had the Howling Commandos doing all this stuff. We had the cool montage and Red Skull just angry at the world. We got the the um, all the suits of Captain America montage. Yep. I, I could sing like that that's a, the cool, classic. That's a, that's a nice song. Comic like suit. The Star Spangled Man with a plan. What <laughs> kind of plan? Oh, again, Tommy Lee Jones. What kind of plan do you have today? Like just completely full sarcasm, uh, and. That spurs him into action, and then he wear, he has his little suit thing. Howard Stark um, is uh, what's this guy's name? I'm forgetting. Um, Dominic Cooper. Dominic Cooper, yes, has Howard Stark. Perfect. Priest. Need for speed. Perfect, perfect. Cat. And priest. <sighs> and priest. And <laughs> Dracula, the one with uh, Luke Evans. Oof. Yeah, Dracula he was. Untold? He was in that one. He untold? was in that one. Yeah, yeah Dracula, Dracula no, Untold. No. Shows was, Charles I Dance. I did randomly. not watch that. I, don't think I did with uh, many people with did. our boy Bobby. It's on HBO Max. But I haven't. Seen I it. watched it. It was, it was it's, whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> effects were cool. But it was, wasn't yeah, that, wasn't that part of First the, Avenger? First the Avenger's universe? awesome. Uh, First Avenger had like uh, some pretty badass like shield moves. Uh, and then he also had the the, the exploding um, motorcycle. Um, Ooh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, it had. I I think personally, like we talk about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness having some gruesome deaths. There's one death by like one of these guys that are in like the little mini. Um, like aircraft that jump out from the giant oh, wing. And he gets that guy gets like just shredded, <laughs> just shredded like mince like, meat. Like, like, like it's just a like <laughs> puff of blood. You're like, wow, oh. that guy got destroyed. <laughs> and they're like, we're gonna let it slide. So I was like, guys, just he calm down. A, he went, just went through a blender. That yeah, was, he went through a blender. It was meat, blood, juice. That was it. And I always loved uh, the the Red Skull dynamic, where it's just he's just like, "Oh, who do you think you are?" He's like, "I'm just I'm nobody, just some kid from Brooklyn," and just like fuels his <laughs> ego even further. Yeah. And then like when he grabs uh, the cosmic, which I thought was the cosmic cube when it first came out, and it's actually just the um, um, the tesseract, and which is the space stone. Like I was like, "Yo, that, like he just like gets teleported out," and you see like the stars. Where I was like, "Yo, that's so yeah. freaking cool!" Like. I, I don't know, like I just I love First Avenger, so I'm glad like, that's really cool that you picked this trilogy. The whole time I thought he was gonna say Mr. Rogers just because it was Hugo Weaving. Mr. Like, Rogers, he never with said this it. Weird though. German accent, yeah. And then it, the first one ends off in a, you know, emotional, like bittersweet, uh, bittersweet type of. Yeah. You know, he's sucks. Pretty much in stuck in ice until the future. He wakes up in years, uh, dude. And what's interesting about First Avenger is I think that's the first of like the uh, Avenger. Not only is he the first, <laughs> not only is he the first Avenger. He's I mean, the first a, he's the first Avenger to get a theme, like an actual theme. Like the march, true. Like, yeah, like the, the Captain America march. I love that march. Yeah, yeah. Bam, I can I can hum bam, it bam, by memory bam, right now. But I'm like, like well, did Thor come out before Captain America? It did, yeah. and yeah. it had he had a theme, so had but a theme. it's it's too it's too subtle. Like it's good, yeah, it's or at Thor's, least like recognizable. I know Thor's theme, like just like the main. Bum, little... bum, bum. Yeah, same yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. I agree with you because the same thing. Iron Man, like his theme wasn't. That, his theme was like ACDC. Riff. By that, his right. theme is by that, <laughs> by that point, like his theme wasn't like, oh, that's Iron Man. Like you was just like, oh, okay, it sounds like a his normal. His theme is just a, a guitar with like, darn out. Yeah, I, we're talking about it. like you know original <laughs> Avengers trilogies, like the Iron Man trilogy. Like his theme in the third one is actually recognizable. I like it a lot personally, but yeah, it's a different story. I don't recognize it. Sorry. Like it's like it's hip. Like it fits the character really well. Like he's super genius. Like, there are only, there are only like, like three themes that I know: oh, uh, the Thor one, the Captain America one, the Avengers one. That's oh, and three. the Spider-Man one. That's four. So four. Spider-Man. Yeah. Aside four. from that, like and the there Marvel are any logo other theme. themes. The Marvel, the Marvel, theme. the Marvel theme. That, that doesn't count. That doesn't, <laughs> no? that doesn't count. Like, or, like or, if it's like, like individual Black Panther? like hero themes or like 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 a movie theme. Yo, but oh, not Black, Black Panther. Panther. Black Panther. Not Black Panther. I don't. I can't. Oh sing my lord. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. I can't Dr. even. Bones? I can't recall. Bro, 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 rewatch bro, the MCU. Bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta rewatch. But here's the thing: like, 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 those themes, those the themes That's don't stand out. That's a Giacchino theme. How dare you? But look, the themes don't stand out like crack. Star Wars or, or anything like that. Like they don't John stand Williams out. Like doing that. any of the music. Yeah, because and Michael that's Giacchino. the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Spielberg could direct one of these movies, so John Williams. Can. All right, and, and that's not to like take a dump all over these composers like Giacchino. 
uh, How, or yeah, two, choose your next one. Very careful. Chiquino's or, a couple or, or, of like Silvestri or Chiquino has an Oscar. So so you can't you can't hate on Chiquino for his Doctor Strange theme. <laughs> well, he did Doctor Strange and he did all the three Spider Man movies. Yeah, but the Spider Man theme I I can I can recognize, right. but the other twenty movies in the MCU I I can hardly you know you don't remember the recognize. theme to Ant-Man? Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, I do because I, I like do. that soundtrack. Which we'll get into well, right yeah. now. Yeah. We're gonna get into well, <laughs> Guardians. What I wanted to say was like, at least for this trilogy, each one feels like a different type of movie. Yes, like like it's not yeah. like you know, Toy Story is Toy Story one, two, and three. Like I feel like you know the first one is like a war movie. Yeah, Toy Story um, one. <laughs> <laughs> first one's a war, war movie. Against Sid. Uh, Captain America. Um, the second one is a spy thriller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, political spy thriller yeah. yeah and the third one is literally more, more like an avengers it's like uh avengers <laughs> team 5 slash 1. Like 5. fugitive movie yeah yeah so, so it's on the run yeah um and the second one i loved uh bucky as the winter soldier so good i still want that mask spoilers. and goggles spoilers yeah. Yeah. So, fun story about winter soldier my sister uh did not know like I had to hide that actively from her because I was reading the um, the arc that brought in the Winter Soldier back, and I was reading through it, and and I had to hide from her that I knew. I mean, I knew from way beforehand anyhow that Bucky, uh, uh Winter Soldier's true identity, mm-hmm. and like she didn't know. So she's watching the movie. She's like, "Wait, what?" I was like, <laughs> it's, it's, "She's like one of like a whole bunch of people." Like, "Whoa!" I was like, "Gotcha." Yeah, that was that was a I was really proud of that moment. Just hiding that from her. And we got uh, Black Widow and um, Sam Wilson. Sam, Sam Wilson, Wilson yep. introduced. Dude, okay, Winter Soldier, yeah, it's just it's so good on so many levels. I mean, Winter Soldier int- introduced on your left. Yeah, on your left. Well, this whole trilogy has some iconic things that pay off in Endgame. Can literally, all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, yep. So um, on your left, Cap. Ugh, every time, dude. Every time. Uh, so part one was directed by Joe Johnston. And then two and three, that's when the Russo Anthony brothers came and in. Joe Russo. Yeah. Of community fame and arrest development. And then in um Civil War, obviously the Civil War with Captain America and Iron Man, uh, which got everyone divided. <laughs> uh but we got Black Panther introduced. Yep. We got Spider Man introduced. Yep. We got literally Wanda one and Vision's of the best, relationship like oh, started yeah. to happen. Mm-hmm. We got one of the best fight scenes and the airport in, well in like winter soldier also introduced uh wanda and Pietro. at the very very at, end, at the at very the end very credit end. scene mm-hmm. yeah so like this whole trilogy has made a huge impact on the mcu yeah or at least in, for the, in the different phases saga. Yeah. yeah so um how about the um what i loved about civil war was the the bucky cap versus iron man fight that's out of hand like they they wombo combo this man hard and that iconic scene with um Cap with the shield and Iron Man, Iron Man with the and they like pre frame on it, yeah, 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 straight from the comics. Yeah, yeah. The pages they're like, like, "Hey guys, look what we did!" So good, it's like, so Whoa. cool. <laughs> and it, you know that 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 line that hurts. He's like, "Yeah, but he's my friend." He's like, "So was so I. was I." <laughs> Oof, <laughs> hurts, man. And you know that you get the reveal that you know he killed the parents of, of Iron well, Man. Well, the thing How is, Cap, Zemo, knew. Cap, Cap knew. Cap knew from from Winter Soldier. <laughs> But we didn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, no, no, well, we knew, we knew from Winter Soldier because yeah. it shows him, like, oh, when history needed, when Zola told him the history needed to be corrected. Yeah. Also, cool thing about Winter Soldier is they showed him. They also show oh, a little computer, mini flashback, yeah. that <laughs> flashback, no, uh, flashback in Winter Soldier of the same drill sergeant yelling, "Rogers!" Like that same guy with yeah. the same yeah. tone of voice is cool. They go to the camp and you see um, the picture of Peggy and the general. And they're just like, wow, who's her? And just like, he just stays quiet. I was like, yeah, yeah that's rough. Who were? Yeah. And, Wait, so uh, in that scene where he's at the the, the, the camp? military camp in Jersey, yeah. We, 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 you were just saying about uh, where do you want to get married, Jersey? <laughs> what? <laughs> if, when they go to the <laughs> Apple Store and like, oh yeah, we're looking for wedding locations. Yeah, we're gonna get married uh, with the hat, uh, with the undercover hats, Jersey. <laughs> with with uh, Aaron, with I have been Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> yep. A uh, new master sixty nine. Anyone? Yeah. Is that him? Uh, confirmed. It was confirmed. It's him? 
It was confirmed <laughs> in a awesome. in a recent com- like in a recent commercial from like three years ago, Thank where you. it's him like in character as Aaron, and it showed like a gamer tag. It's mm-hmm. a uh, new masters nice. 69. That's awesome. <laughs> really I, I i saw that somewhere yeah where was that like what was that like what was that i think it was a, I, I don't know if it was a promo for something it, it was a promo for something it's on youtube you can so that, okay. that guy's like a, a really old friend of uh, donald glover's dc pearson yeah dc pearson and he yep. he was cool. in a few moments in community so i bet you they just brought him in because they probably did some stuff with him in community. Well, they also put Danny Pudi in community. Yeah, there's been a lot of community actors in, spread in, out. Anytime the Russo brothers were in stuff, they'll put community actors in it. Like they put um Yvette Nicole Brown. Nick, Yvette Nicole Brown in Endgame. Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't wasn't Ken Jong somewhere in there too? Oh, he was yeah, in Endgame Ken Jong also. Was there. Yeah, he was in Endgame. He's in Endgame. Yeah. The, se- the security guard at the Yeah, with unit Ant-Man. storage unit place, yeah. Yep. That's also a theme I can recite or kind of hum the Ant-Man theme. But anyway, um and then <laughs> Uh, yeah. Villain wise for Oof. Civil War, we got Baron Zemo, Dude. Ooh. which he did, he did so much damage. He was he did so he was, much damage. Uh, he was successful because like, yeah, yeah, like, he, he was <laughs> like he wasn't he wasn't the villain in the sense that like he was doing a lot of the like, I mean he was doing the destruction, but he was but taking he down the Avengers to, psychologically. Oh, he yeah. won. He, like, yeah. he the, caused them to fight against each other. Yeah, he broke yeah. up the Avengers. He's like, I win, yeah. and not and just for this to, movie, like, but know, ultimately you see how that affects. Infinity, Infinity War, War and Endgame mm-hmm. because they were already separated at that time. Yeah, yeah. He, that's. And we also got um, dude, they the killed... death of Peggy Carter and yeah, the, and the, the funeral. Dead. T'Challa's dad. T'Challa's dad. T'Challa died in Civil oh, yeah. War. T'challa. Man, yeah. that mo- that movie was was yeah. it's heavy. You got a. Uh, I think for me, I would. I know you guys. Sharon are... Carter. You know they got the kiss, dude. That's yeah. the beginning. <laughs> Civil War is the beginning of the Falcon Winter Soldier, like the, the bromance, bromance yeah. slash like. Weird Can you friendship. move your seat up? No. no. <laughs> and then like so when 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 you know Cap gets the the kiss, like they, they both they, they looking they both like, like yeah, like, my, my, my man. <laughs> uh, what I also love is about um, Civil War is uh, when he's trying to stop Bucky from escaping on the helicopter. You get the best flex Ooh. in oh the God. MCU, yeah. just, Which, just where he's trying to pull, but then he has, he gets it from uh, the underhand just to be able to get the bicep pull. Yeah, just, oh, that scene made so... a lot of women just want to re rewatch the movie, and it made <laughs> and it made all the men want a bicep curl, like me. Yeah, I was like, that, oh, I was man, one of those where guys. can I find helicopters to do that? To just bicep <laughs> curl a helicopter, and then you know we got the you but know he, we got he, so he many cool the, things. He pulled a muscle or something. During that scene, Probably. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I, I, th- I think I heard somewhere that like when they're filming that, he like he messed up his arm. Yeah, because you gotta pull with, yeah, your, with your back. It's not just the bicep. Like you gotta pull with your back too, because your lats. Anyway, um, Spider Man with the whole like underoos, and you get the whole mm-hmm. little like bit here too, and the <laughs> don't tell Aunt May, and and the you know again like Black Panther like just out for blood the whole movie. Well, you also got uh, Spider Man against Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yep. Yeah. The the little. Yep. Sequence. Everybody's got oh, a gimmick is that a now. Metal arm, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Who's and he kid? catches the punch. Yep. Everybody's got a gimmick now. Yeah, that was great. And um, then Vision, the like from um, Queens, so. blasting Rhodey, blasting Queens, Rhodey, from Brooklyn. Which yeah. that part got emotional Brooklyn. too. Yeah, that was rough because yeah, that's when he was just like, nope. And Tony Stank. <laughs> oh, Stan <sighs> yes, Lee. yes. This is Tony Stank. Thank you for that. <laughs> that's one of the best like uh, Stanley cameos. Is this, is this Tony Stank? And then finally, like towards the end, um, that recap scene where he's he gave the phone to uh, Tony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, like, it actually comes back in uh, Infinity, Infinity War. War. That oh yeah, we can't even. And you know, uh, what I love about Civil War is they brought back my boy, my boy Hawkeye came in. Yeah, Hawkeye. He, we had the great Hawkeye Ant Man uh, combo because that's straight from the comics. It's just like get get on, guy. It's just, it's just I love when they them. when they get the like their powers together yeah like they do certain scenes like that like it's pretty cool yeah it's like hey you sure about this like yep i'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah that was that and then just the then he, he turned to giant man he, you have orange slices <laughs> anybody have some orange slices uh and hawkeye and iron man just doing the whole like trying to shoot him whatever it's just like oh you know uh you know I, I, what brought you out of retirement i thought you were cool man it's like i you know shot 18 you know had 18 holes 18 shots never missed <laughs> and then like he shoots he got him. bored yeah he, i got bored and so he shoots and he's like well i guess the first time for everything like, yeah but made you look i didn't then, miss yeah yeah he's like yeah i made you look and just bah, 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 like just 
dude, I just I just need more Hawkeye. That's that's just what's up. Like it's too cool. Um, but everybody yeah. got their chance. To, their times to shine in that movie is really great. It's the futurist. Yeah, all that good stuff. So for me, what's I know your, you guys are ready. You, like, yeah. you yeah. like Civil War? Mine's gonna be one, uh, three, two, one. Make some noise. Although they're <laughs> very very close. Because I guess it depends on the mood, like what type of movie you want to watch. Right. You can yeah. watch either one and it'll fit, oh, man. you know, either the spy thriller, the war movie, or just a nice team up. Yeah. Or internal comp. Yeah. To me, it's like Civil War is like the better comic book movie. And like definitely that airport scene is it's so good. It's probably one of the best. They're not stopping. Comic book fights. Neither are we. In like, in like any movie. <laughs> So like I, I like I like it for that for all the things that it did and all the things that it set up, but to me I just feel like Winter Soldier is one of those like bridging the gap movies where it's like it, its it, own right. It doesn't even like, have to be like you don't even have to say oh this is like a superhero movie like it's a legit good movie. Oh and Captain America's in it like that. It, you could just watch it on its own. Yeah, and like it's, it's, it's a really it had good the movie. game changer like of the whole like. You know, spoiler alert: where was, Hydra's been in Shield the whole time. The yeah, whole time. dude, that yeah. was that dude, was that, elevator. that was like, everybody's like, "What?" Yeah, the elevator fight sequence. Anybody <laughs> want to get out? Like, um, before we get started. Okay, they want to get okay, and then when he's leaving on the air on the the bike, and he like Shield slashes the and like destroys or whatever the, that plane is the Quinjet yeah, like Quinjet. to hell. Yeah, like yeah. I'm like, yo, that's bad. Like just badass. And he has the the his his landing runs away. Yeah, they, they really stepped it up in that movie from the first one. They just like they're like, yeah, let's just make him be extra badass in this movie and all the fight scenes all the action scenes just the escape sequence with uh, samuel jackson when when he realizes that like everyone around him they tra- like, oh. betray him and yeah. then they're the whole highway scene or not highway but like the scene of the streets where everyone's yeah. trying to catch him like that whole scene was like this is nuts like what is going on here like it was kind of like i feel like it was like one of the first movies to like Say like okay, this is like the new phase of Marvel movies, and they're just gonna keep being like this. Yeah. Because like it got really serious. It was kind of violent, and it was just like these are like now more gonna be more serious. And Civil War is definitely also very serious. Oh, when well, a soldier had Batroc the Leaper. Mm, yeah. That, uh, whole, that fight sequence was really cool too. Um, and I'll make a case for Winter Soldier. Um, I love the 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 music. Henry mm-hmm. Jackman did a really good job with that score. Mm-hmm. He also did Civil War, but. Um, you have like that really that creepy w- Winter Soldier theme. You have the like sort of like modern Captain America theme. Uh, that's like really sort of like it has that like stoic political thriller, but like that kind of like stand your ground moment. Like that's like when he makes his speech yeah. at Shield headquarters. Like you hear it there too. It's, it's so it's good. cool how that movie you see the modernized version, right? Of yeah, Captain America. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, it's like he's no longer like. He starts going out of the like goody two shoes boy scout, yeah. and it's kind of like the okay now I'm I'm this is my own principles I, and he just uh, it, it, cat, and then Sam I love that speech Sam looks at him is like did, did, did you rehearse that or did you just make it all up like <laughs> so good and he like, just see so him he's like <laughs> like like you just hear cat that's why everybody at Shields is like no cap captain's orders you're like ah oh, it's so good <laughs> it's too good man and you but, get and you you that also started like the good buddy relationship between him and. Black Sam. Widow. And Black so. Widow, yeah. Oh, that that's was cool, true. too. Yeah. What about the girl from McCann? I was like, ah, the nose ring? I don't know. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> and he just dives. Like, Did you need a parachute? No. <laughs> yeah, because aside from... Oh, I'm... yeah, that whole, like, the boat infiltration scene? Mm-hmm. In the beginning? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, seeing him just, like, trounce on everybody. And then they also show Black Widow doing stuff. That's why I like I like that they, aside from, what, Iron Man 2 and then the first Avengers, you didn't really get to see much of Black Widow. And then, like, this movie just, like, allowed her to also it was do cool her having yeah. her join like different characters right um and right. we grew I like that you know we, we got to see her character development but yeah. through these different characters so that's why when you get to civil war and she's kind of like on, on the opposite side of of cap and like man i thought they were friends and then at the end she's like well he's my boy so I, yeah you know, i'll, 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 I'll so triple cross she's on like, both sides she's yeah. like, she's she, like she, i like both you guys she like, triple crossed uh black panther and it's just like what this is like dude what the hell she's like yo I, she's I like, like whatever guys it's like he's got to do his thing <laughs> yeah that's all too right good. well that was my pick that's your uh, pick good pick so man. three good two pick. one three two one three right, two right. one okay understandable understandable all right xavier what's yours bring it home so my trilogy this one is really near and dear to me um, kind of really formative of my childhood and really 
left I know a lasting impression <laughs> on me, even to this day of who I am as a person because of it. Um, it got me to do things that if, without this movie trilogy, I don't think I would have uh, taken certain uh, decisions or steps in my life without it. Um, and this, I got introduced into this trilogy because uh, a family member, well, my brother from my dad's first marriage, he was working at McDonald's at the time. And around this time, uh, Paramount was doing like a deal with McDonald's to where if you bought like a hamburger, you got the VHSs of this trilogy of movies at the time nice. for like five ninety nine. And um, he one day came home and with a, a these three VHS set of Indiana Jones. Oh, and, um, you know, these movies like completely stuck with me, like they, from I would watch them over and over. It was this and the Star Wars trilogy was watched over and over and over. And then like I would get more VHSs like, oh, here's Aladdin and Lion King. But Indiana Jones, I would uh, just between those two, that those, you know, George Lucas trilogies, in essence, like I would watch them all the time. Uh, to the point where I wanted to have like a cool jacket and a fedora. Like I got like a, a rope that I would have in, in a tree in the front of my house and I'd swing on it thinking I was Indiana Jones. Like I thought having a whip was like literally the coolest thing ever. I was like, no one normally needs a whip, but this guy's so cool with it. But I also loved the fact that he was smart. Like, you know, he's scruffy. He's yeah. uh, kind of rugged, but he was. He's a scruffy looking nerfer. <laughs> pretty much yeah he's a scruffy looking uh archaeology professor in chicago and he like knew his stuff and like he could back up all the rough and tumbleness that he always got himself into um with the book smarts and the knowledge and the research to get him through it um i and... liked how they demonstrated that in the first one like, yeah when they first showed off yeah. and then oh absolutely like you see that in in raiders like yeah. um where he it's like he's it's funny Alfred Molina's in this scene too. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, the where the whole beginning, he's in the tropical jungle in South America trying to find this idol who's, that's an artifact. But the thing is, he knows, like he's there with like another kind of sort of guide, but he is going through. I was like, nope, can't go here because there's a trap. And I did this because I looked up archaeological things and like he knew that, oh, in order to do, to take the idol, you have to, you get the iconic, like moving the idol, but getting a bag of sand to make sure the counterweights in place and stuff happens and he's running away from the giant ball and um all the stunt pieces were great um the action set pieces are amazing the then the cool thing is like Indy doesn't win all the time in those like scraps yeah. or those situations he gets himself into like it's always a normal dude yeah like he's not this like larger than life guy he's just you know tr barely getting by so in raiders uh, he barely gets away from that first sequence, and uh, you you get other character development from him too. Um, I, just the way the movies were 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 made, like Steve Spielberg and George Lucas, they wrote and, and Spielberg directed them. Like it's like almost like these pulp like action movies from way back when, but modernized. Um, you get a lot of stuff in the desert. The and every movie in the trilogy um, has had to deal with some type of mystic or like archaeological artifact that has some mystical property to it. So the first one is about the Ark of the Covenant and they have to go to Egypt to find it. Uh, and they're racing Nazis to find it because Hitler's on this whole, I want to find these ancient artifacts to solidify my regime or you know, the, solidify the Third Reich. And so it's grounded a little bit in history. And I thought that's the cool, like I was like, man, like they've got me into loving history and I studied history, I ended up studying history in high school and college. Like, like that's like my degrees in that because of Indiana Jones. And um, there's a little bit of fact in it. Uh, and you also have like really awesome iconic sequences uh, in all of these movies. Raiders, you have like this bar fight in like Nepal, the chase sequence and the snake pit in Egypt. Like that whole chase sequence is um, is nuts. Like it's uh, like they go from a snake pit to this big fight in an airfield to a car chase. And, and it's all like, real stunts. It's all yeah. real practical stunts. There is a Wilhelm scream in every one of these movies, yeah. which is awesome. Um, and, you know, you, you get like this cool, like, again, like small moments of character development and a little bit of insight to Indiana Jones and to, to. Marion. It's also really funny. Like, mm -hmm. there are some fun gags 
that get thrown in there all the time. My favorite is in the in Raiders the the gun versus sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you know that's that improv, whole thing is because he was sick and he's just like nah, screw this and yeah. like improv. and they improv it and they're like nah, put that in the movie. <laughs> Keep like, this it is in too there. good. And I think he like had a minor flu or something. He's like, dude, I'm sick. Just forget this noise. Like, he I'm just done. Shot. Yeah, like so stuff like that. He's like. No, <laughs> that, that guy probably died like the hell like <laughs> who brought a gun to a sword fight uh, and then that's another chase sequence in Cairo and uh, you know you get Sala who shows up in the third movie also yeah um, uh, Marcus the, as well the first five minutes of the movie the the whole running away from the boulder like that was iconic first, first five minutes of the movie and, and it's already like an iconic scene and you see the vil and the villain belloc there too yeah. he's just like aha he's like he also outsmarts indiana jones because he did his research and like yeah. hung out with the natives and he's like yeah I got it's funny because like that in his moment of hubris there's a point where he's just like I, he's like he's telling the people look the idol worship it the, the tribe worships it and indy's like uh yeah i'm out of here and then like he looked and like wait what like you, you can't do that i'm winning <laughs> he's just like nope i'm gone like uh it's awesome, and they always take place in the 30s, uh, each of these movies. Uh, funny enough, the, se the second one, one is a prequel, prequel to the first one. Yeah. So, uh, you're, so you're talking about the first three and not the fourth one. We're not, the, yeah, <laughs> just like Toy Story. Okay. We're going to talk about uh, the trilogy initially. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, yeah, Raiders um, also gave us one of the best, like, marches in movie history. We talked about the uh, first Avenger march, uh, but... John Williams gave us the Raiders March. I mean, do you know that? that that's do you know sport. that music? Zach? No, yeah, that, that one. That one you I know, know that score. Like, and you haven't haven't like, I've never seen, seen the film, movie. but I know the theme. Boom. I know the theme. Everyone, Everyone knows the theme. <laughs> like that theme, along with Star Wars, got me like when I was in middle school, going, "Oh, I want to play music." I was like, "No, I'm going to play trumpet because I can play the theme to Indiana Jones. Who's I'm going to learn it." Man, John Williams. Yeah. Well, I knew who John Williams was. Like, man, he, that guy makes awesome music. And then it was like that. It was like. And I realized, oh, he also does that awesome stuff. That's a French horn. Like, that got me into music because of these, uh, John Williams' score. Like, that. And that, then it got you know, me into Superman. kind of got me into music, too. It's, 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 um, it's iconic. It truly is iconic. And um, they build on it uh, with uh, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom has its own, like, they have a sort of, like, a little march of uh, the, kind of, like, these slave workers that are in this palace in India and Temple of Doom has to deal with the artifact they're called the Shankara Stones. And they deal with um, one of the three main deities of the Hindu mythology, which is, um, or the Hindu religion, which is Shiva, who has a sort of darker side, which is uh, Kali. And uh, the whole movie, again, like Danny said, is a prequel, technically. They hang out, they, he's in China trying to get this other artifact from these Chinese mobsters. And uh, stuff happens at this club called Club Obi-Wan. <laughs> of all things and then he goes on a plane the plane has things happen and he lands in some uh deserted this, this, island. no like this, no it's not oh. an island it's like this sorry. small egypt uh, sorry this small oh. indian village mm -hmm. and then he talks about the shankara stones and uh the villagers are like yeah like these these people in this evil palace they came and one night and stole our kids mm -hmm. like that's dark like then this one is the temple of doom is definitely darker very dark <laughs> yeah temple of doom is the movie that created pg-13 yes it is yes it is because of crazy stuff like they're eating like live animals like chilled monkey brains and kalima like, kalima oh God, shakti yes. day. like the the main villain is this guy called molaram who's Dude, like this cultist yeah like good. of the 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 thuggy cult which actually has things in history about the the of like where the word thug comes from is from the thuggies and so like he would he does this like sacrifice of these people and like grabbing their heart and just like freaky crazy brutal. laugh like dude it's nuts. You also get Short Round who um Tucker Jones who is one of the best like side characters <laughs> ever. Um and you saw him in everything everything ever all, all at once. once. Yeah. You have I talked about Marion the love interest in uh Raiders. You have uh Willie Scott the lounge singer uh, who's from Kansas randomly enough but she's in there too like that whole sequence with the snake and the the elephant and like uh, mm -hmm. It was really cool, but then again, like uh, there's like these kids that are enslaved, and uh, there's another one of these goons has like a crazy kind of gruesome death too. There's some really creepy, like uh, almost like weird voodoo magic, and some other and like mm -hmm. uh, hypnosis, and again, like it's really it's it's pretty intense. Like you got and the nastiest, you like, the nastiest insect scene. If you don't like bugs, <laughs> any you got to be prepared to oh, watch Temple goodness. of Doom because it's rough. 
But uh, oh, and the the minecart, like anything about minecarts came Kong. from yeah, like came from Temple of Doom. Um, the again, the John Williams kills it again with the score and uh, just really, really iconic imagery and just iconic movie overall. Um, but then after that, a few years later, we got to the third one, which is uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which is my personal favorite. Oh, me too. Um, I think um, I just I a big sucker for like the father son stories and this is where you get more backstory of indiana jones actually the movie starts off because every movie has its own little action set piece the mo third movie starts with a young indiana jones up i think in that's right yeah is it in wyoming or i forget where it's um it's in one of these uh west uh, uh western states up there and they um or montana i think uh and so it's indie like in the boy scouts with like friends and whatever and so they they uh it's played by uh river phoenix uh joaquin phoenix's brother who had died tragically in the 90s and from there it kind of goes into modern day it takes place after raiders the of the lost first Ark. one yeah, yeah it takes place after the first one so again you go back to nazis like there's some more nazis but um you have some really fun stuff like you have a whole chase sequence and uh you know historical archaeology you know digging up stuff in venice italy the sewers uh the, the sewers into the boat chase i love one of my favorite lines is just ah venice like <laughs> every time just ah, like every time someone says ah venice like it's usually just uh, indie like marveling at stuff because venice and you got his dad uh sean connery, sean connery. which is funny because i think they're they're he's his dad but they're only like maybe eight years apart <laughs> but he plays his dad and Sean Connery is awesome because he doesn't know, like, he, they had sort of a falling out, uh, you find out during the movie, and he doesn't know what his son's been into. He's like, oh, he studied archaeology, he's a professor, cool, whatever. No, he's like a badass Nazi, <laughs> like, uh, fighting machine that works for the U.S. government uh, in Raiders and, like, saw, like, figured out a lot of the stuff and is just, you know, kind. Of, he's like, my son's kind of a badass, what the hell? <laughs> like, do you have, like, uh, again, more John Williams, like, one of the best... Uh, other like side themes of the movie is the motorcycle chase sequence. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, which has some awesome moments too. Awesome uh, and funny. Yes, awesome and funny. Again, like that's the whole. Uh, the movie's all about that, and I don't want to spoil this stuff for Zach because I know he hasn't seen these. But um, you which have got to watch. Yeah, like we none of them. He hasn't seen any of them. You no. have not seen any of them. Oh, no. part four first. <laughs> <laughs> Please God, no. So. Um, there's a whole bit in Berlin. There's a whole thing with a, a dirigible and a blimp. There's a, a car chase, a boat chase. There's um, using research and archaeology to get through traps. There's a mystic artifact, which is the Holy Grail itself. Um, and is that where like the one guy like ages like you chosen quickly? poorly? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where that's from. Um, which, funny enough, a um, couple characters or a couple actors from that movie have been in other stuff. Like uh, I th one of the the characters, this guy named Walter Donovan, uh, he is General Veers in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the same actor, uh, Julian Glover. He was also randomly in a couple stuff of Game of Thrones. He was nice. like he was on the Council. He was like the the creepy, oh, the yes. weird like yeah, old yeah, guy yeah, yeah. that was into. Chicks, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, this this trilogy <laughs> just has everything. Something. Yeah, I mean, it's got a master filmmaker behind the camera in uh, Steven Spielberg. Had George Lucas writing in his prime, like really fun stories that uh, you can just pick up and watch whenever. Um, also, great emotional beats too, and like Indy always comes out of this journey better for it because mm -hmm. he he gets to either a lesson. All his arcs just are great, especially like. Last Crusade has one of my favorite lines ever where um, stuff's going on and someone just gets tells Indy, uh, he looks at me, he's like, hey, Indiana, just let it go. And like you have the music playing in the background, like the the theme, uh, one of the main the, the main theme that's specific to Last Crusade, like it's playing in the background. It just it's so good. And it really helps you realize like just you a full like arc. It's, it's so good. It's as as iconic as Raiders is. Like Last Crusade to me, for those personal reasons, is really my personal. It's my favorite out of the three. Um, and I would put it I as agree. um three. If I'm gonna rank it, it would be three one two. Yep. Just because again, Temple of Doom is it's it, it's freaky. Like it's just it, it's um 
It's like a fun side story. It's a fun side story. It'll yeah. Be, like if it had Nazis, maybe. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> it has like it, that whole sequence in Temple of Doom with the bridge. Like that's nuts. Yeah. Like that always freaked me out. And again, like there's like people getting eaten by alligators or they're supposed to be crocodiles, but they're actually alligators because movies. But yeah, it's yo, it's nuts. Like that. I agree with you with the three one two. It would have been cool to see like different stories like two like kind of like spinoffs almost like you get those of, instead you, of three kind of being like the sequel to one if three yeah. was just a different movie yeah, yeah. Uh, to me is so you get a lot of that i think there, there's also like licensed games that come from that series sure. there are some really cool ones like there's one i called indiana jones the infernal machine which was really cool i think it goes back to peru from the first movie and nice whatever it's like the you had the the, the kind of click adventures that was last crusade it was like a dos game uh, that one was really fun. And you find out that, like, Indiana Jones, uh, so Henry Jones, his real name, Henry Jones Jr., he learned boxing, which is why he's always fighting people. Like, or when he fights, like, he can actually throw a punch. So, um, yeah, it's I can go on and on about these movies, like, each specifically, but I won't, uh, I don't want to spoil anything for Zach, but um, they really are some of my favorite movies of all time. I wouldn't be the person who I am without those movies. And uh, they're amazing. Uh, I don't ever think, you know, George Lucas or Steven Spielberg will ever hear this. But if you do, uh, thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. Because um, these stuck with me for till today. They are, um, they got, they helped me. They, they paved the way for my childhood uh, just to, again, be the person who I am. And that's, uh, at that, that's where I stand on those movies. So They're great movies. Really amazing. Classic. It's, great trilogies all a around. great trilogy all around yeah um with that being said guys i if anybody wants to th really quickly throw out an honorable mention just one so we can kind of maybe put we'll just there. list it go zach zach go quick uh can i name my two yeah just, go yeah just, just list, list them, them. okay list so them right first quick. popcorn one, watch list it all right first one jj <laughs> abrams reboot of star trek Damn, that was interesting. <laughs> i watched those three first and then after I watched the third one, I watched the other 10 that came beforehand Ooh. with the original cast and then the next cool, generation cast. Cool. So because of those, I, I was able to get into Star Trek and, and appreciate uh, what they are and uh, and what they've done to uh, the film industry when it comes to uh, like story and, and visual effects. Uh, and then my other honorable mention uh, is Planet of the Apes. The the reboot, Ooh, nice. Mm. Just right. like with Star Trek, if I if I hadn't yeah. watched those, I would not have gotten into the Planet of the Apes series. So when I finished watching the the trilogy, I watched the originals and the Tim Burton remake. Mm. <laughs> yeah, whatever you okay. whatever you want to call it. It's not nice. even related, but nicely done. I, but yeah, those are my honorable mentions. Nicely done. Nice. Good job. I was gonna choose uh, Star Trek. Oh, nice. Get wrecked. Um, the newer but the, ones? The, the reboot trilogy. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, he <laughs> actually got me into them, just like uh, how, uh, how to Train Your Dragon. But You're um, they got me into Star Trek. I was always a Star Wars fan. Uh, you never could be saw. Both. You could be both. Yep. <laughs> never both. saw Star we Trek. Don't, we don't discriminate here. Never saw Star Trek up until maybe a couple years ago, two, three years ago when I saw it. All so, right. nice. um, and the other one that I was going to choose was Back to the Future. Mm, nice. Um, Me too. That was so now the I'll say another one. classic yeah. trilogy that nicely just, done. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Cool. All right, Anthony. Not what do you much got? to say. No, 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 you go. Me go. Okay. Yes. So Migos. I'm going to pick one um, that is. I think over time people have gone back and said, you know what, these aren't as bad. Though <laughs> I will say that they're a little. Um, yeah, they're a little rough. They can, they're still rough around the edges, but it's like endearing to me as a result, um, just because of all the memes that came out from them. And I'm gonna say the the prequel trilogy of Star Wars, because <laughs> um, obviously, I, if the originals, I already mentioned it in my uh, uh, pick for indie, but uh, like, yeah, the prequels, just because you you get so many good good stuff from good it. memes. Yeah, so many good memes, and then um. Another one because uh, my my dad really liked these movies uh, was the the Dollars trilogy, which is uh, by with Clean Eastwood is a spaghetti western. Oh, so yeah. fistful of dollars, a, a few, few dollars more, <laughs> and then the good and the bad and the ugly. 
Uh, those no dollars on the last one. No, <laughs> no, because uh, they're looking for treasure in that yeah. one, and that yeah. But we'll talk about that one later. Um, I could have picked others, but no. there's so many. There's so many. Um, I mean, nobody said it, but Lord of the Rings. Thank you. Yeah, I, mean, I was waiting for someone else to say. It. I was gonna give it away. I thought Zach else. was gonna say it, but that's or, what I thought too. I'm like the one trilogy <laughs> to rule it all. <laughs> yeah, o- original and extended. I I watch all of it. I mean, I I'll spend a, a whole weekend watching that. But yeah, those movies are fantastic. You know, I have stories of that, but I'm not going to go into it. The, yeah, Lord of the Rings is great. <laughs> I can't believe they're more than 20 years old now. I feel really old, but um, I was going to say Back to the Future, but, you know, I've already mentioned how much I liked that before. I, I didn't pick that one because it's one of those where it's like, yeah, I enjoy all of it, but it seems it's kind of like, I don't think all three are like fantastic. It's kind of like, okay, this one's good. This one's good. Eh, this one's pretty good. Uh, I just I picked Toy Story because I think they're all oh, okay. they're yeah, all okay. really good. Like yeah. you know I like the Matrix, but really Matrix One is the best. I li- I'm one of the few people that like two. Uh, three is okay. I know it's not very good, but yeah. So it's I didn't pick that because as a trilogy, it's not the best. And number four is not very good. <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't pick Die Hard. Like uh, Die Hard, I love like one and three are awesome. Like one and three are so good, but two's like. Kind of forgettable. It's just yeah. these guys like, oh, I want to, you know, uh, the main plot of it's like we want to free some random like uh, Central American general guy, and we're holding right a, a airport hostage by messing with their altitude stuff. Yeah, it's like it's okay. like they're good, but it's you know, uh, and, the, the, the whole trilogy. Right. Yeah. Another one that I would pick, which it's cheating again because now this franchise has many more than three, but the original three pirates movies, Pirates of the Caribbean. To me, I like all three of those. Yeah. I know people don't like, some people don't like the trilogy. No, they're on the crack. Se- That's the a second great trilogy. and third. No, they're on I crack. Think I love all three of them, just like you with the Hunter Train Dragon. Ba, ba, to me, the music in all three of those movies are, ba, ba, are amazing. Ba, ba, so, like, ba, ba, I could, just like ba, ba, you, I visualize the scene when I hear the music. I'm like, oh, I, I played, I used to play that, those, all three I of the soundtracks. I was just singing the Davy Jones theme. Yeah. Ba, 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 Davy Jones ba, 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 is great. That and the, the creepy, like, romantic it's theme just he used like, to have like uh, his lullaby yeah, the just, lullaby. yeah just the theme from the first one like it's like it's a two minute song and it's or i think it's like a minute and a half Klaus and it's like the Blood greatest <laughs> a minute and a half of like anything i've ever heard i'm like this is too good like it embodies the whole movie in a minute and a half like it's it's so good and, so, yeah. and just johnny depp as jack yep. sparrow yeah man so good no more johnny depp in pirates movies so. who knows bob chapik said something that's like whoa we don't know just yet they might just like hey reparations here's a bajillion dollars he he said he it, said not no. even a million not llamas. even a million <laughs> llamas. <laughs> a yeah. million llamas or 300 million dollars which would be the amount the whole movie costs yeah, that's how much part three costs to make all a million movies. llamas right. you can get like four hundred thousand wives with that. <laughs> Whoa! What kind so, of bartering yeah, like, are you doing? Like, yeah, I think the Pirates trilogy is really good. Yep. All but right. there's so many, so we could definitely yeah. do other episodes of this. We'll do another episode yeah. of this for sure. Yeah. For sure. All right, like Godfather. We could have just said the Godfather. We could, yeah. Well, easily, easily. But the third one is. Well, some people say it. Third one's not so good, but it's still like really good. Con- yeah, one and two are classics, are like you know top tier, and then the third one is, eh, yeah. but. You know, it also is the oceans, but that's different. Uh, anyway, um, with that, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please chime in about your favorite trilogies on our uh, social media pages through our outreach on Instagram. We should have a Twitter up very soon, but or even, or even on, on YouTube, YouTube mm-hmm. this episode will be up. So put in the comments. Uh, you know, definitely get on, get on there, share it with your friends, have a trilogy talk with uh, everybody out there. Get the debate and the conversation going. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And you all have a great one. Till next time. Bye, guys. See ya. Adios.